Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can always be updated anytime we release a video. Guys, also don't forget to hit that like button as well. In this video, we're going to go over how to allow all the time full file storage access permission for any app in the Fire OS 8. Okay guys, now I know some of you have been trying to use the Total Commander and the Explore app in order to access your third party APKs by using the um, downloaded folder and accessing the APKs in there. So what's happening is that you are allowing permissions through the uh, unknown sources but yet it's still prompting you to have um, full file access. So in order to do that, we have to do a few things. In this video, we're gonna talk about what we need to do. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide how to set it up so you will have full access, okay? Stay tuned. Okay guys, let's jump right into it. So now, there's a few things that we need to know. One of the things is that in order for this to work, we're going to need the name of the package of the application we're trying to give the permissions to. So the two we're going to focus on today will be the Explorer and the Total Commander. Now, make sure you download this. This is already in the Amazon store. Just do a search, find Explore, find Total Commander. Now, once we have these two things, we're going to need their package name. Now, I'm going to give you the name of these packages in the Telegram group and also somewhere in this video. But for those who have other applications and they don't know how to find the package name, this is how you do it. Now, we just head over to the search area. Now, in the search area, we're going to look for something called Developer Tools. Just type in developer. You're going to see the options populate on the bottom. And then look for the developer tool menu. Install that. Once you install it, you're going to open it up. You're going to see something here that says system X ray. Now that is what we're going to need to turn on. We can keep it on. We can come back out. For some reason, if you don't see this particular menu, right here it's going to be the first option that says developer tools menu click on that once you click on that system x-ray now as you can see on top we have the 1080p the uh, 59.93 and the um, other thing things happening if you look real close you're going to see here this is a package name now this is how we're going to find our package name so what we need to do is we need to go to the application we're looking for the name for and launch that application. So we're going to launch the application explore. Once we open it, you're going to see the package name right here. Okay. So now that we have that package name, we're going to have to copy that down and save it to the side. Okay. So whatever application package name you're looking for will be here copy it down or just check the telegram group and just copy it we're going to paste it into something else a little later okay guys the same thing applies with the total commander open the total commander launch it you're going to see that the package name has changed you can copy down that package name as well you can use both but we have to do it one by one so we're going to get the package name for the total commander and a package name for the Explore. Once we have that, save it to the side. We're going to use it later. In the meantime, we're going to hit the home button 
and we're gonna head over to the settings now in the settings this is for those who don't already have the device set up we're gonna go to my fire TV we're gonna have developer options enabled now if you don't have developer options hit about hit fire TV stick max a few times it'll make your developer go into the developer options make sure the ADB debugging is on if you have a device that asks you to enable the install unknown apps select that one as well make sure they're both are on now in this device you have to select it one by one so we're only concerned about the ADB debugging in this instance okay so the next step hit the home button head over to the search bar we're going to use an application that everyone should know about it is called downloader so let's get the downloader application right in the Amazon store the only thing we need to do is add in this code this code will give us the application known as the remote shell ADB so we're going to enter this code in order to get that the code is 2201 enter 2201 select go once you select go you're going to get prompt to another area where we're going to install the application once it downloads select install and then you're going to install the remote ADB shell you can delete the APK after you're done once that's completed you can launch the remote ADB shell okay guys now that you have this launched you have a few options now you can either buy yourself an OTG cable with that cable you can plug the fire stick directly into a keyboard and with the keyboard you can use that to type out what you need to type out or the easier way will be to download the Amazon Fire Remote on your phone so it will be on the Google Play Store you can download that when you do download that there's an area where you can open up a keyboard and you can actually copy and paste right onto the Fire Stick okay so those are the two options either the OTG cable and attach a keyboard or use the fire remote application that's on the play store so once you decide what you're going to do you're going to place this here 127.0.0.1 this is going to give you a direct connection to your device so you can remotely add things to it okay so let's select next we're going to select next again and then we're going to run this command now as soon as you launch it you're going to be prompt with allow usb debugging you're going to select always allow and then allow it okay select always allow right here in the checkbox then select allow okay now that we have this launched everything is running there is a line that we have to add here now this is the long part this is why we will need the keyboard or the copy and paste i'm going to show you the code in a few seconds now this is the code right here what we're going to do is we're going to enter this line right here now the line that i do have here will have package name and brackets now that right there we're going to replace that we're going to replace that with the actual package name we copied earlier so we're going to get rid of the brackets we're going to get rid of where it says package name and we're going to actually place there the package name so let's do that okay so we removed the brackets and we added the package name for the total commander and it's placed now that you have taken out the brackets with the word package name and place the actual name of the package there we can run the code once you run the code you're going to see on the bottom it says allow that's how you know that the code is actually working now there is another method to test to see if it's actually working but the easiest way to do it is just to launch the total commander and see if you have access so let's do that right now okay so let's head over to the total commander let's open it up let's go to the internal shared file storage let's go to the download area 
and here is where we couldn't access the files before and now we can as you can see those are third-party apps the hydro boost the Cephas T's, those are third-party apps we can access it we can install those APKs so it does work so that's good now we can follow the same process to enable the explore to work all we have to do is switch the package over to over what explore package is so that means that instead of replacing the brackets with that package name we will replace it with explores package stay tuned okay that brings us to the end of the video guys if you do need a clearer picture of these codes you can join my telegram group i will definitely place it in there also somewhere in the video as well now remember the keyboard you need to use has to be a usb keyboard in order for it to work or you can utilize the fire tv virtual app which will give you a virtual keyboard now with that said guys tell me what you think about this video tell me if this is helpful or not leave your comments down below i hope you had a good day and with that said i hope you enjoyed